that I perish here? <laughs> Braun alone can't win all wars. Likewise, my fascist assailant. I'll be observing your lot from on high. Repudiation to you. Honor to Kronos! I certainly do. Relia deserves a good life. A caring, maybe mentoring dad. Like the real was when I was young. Relia, I'm so sorry. What's more? I should thank you. My wish was answered due to your... Grow up and be... The joyous girl I couldn't. Varian, no! Don't be so sad. Since I'll be with you in your heart. Captain's Log. Space date, November 7, 537. Our mission in the Fate Creed system has concluded. With the death of its leader, General Alma, the rebellion collapsed in upon itself. As the coup d'etat ended in abject failure, the Kronos government was able to regain its authority. Days later, President Mutal declared that Kronos would join the Pan-Galactic Federation, thus swelling our ranks and leaving one fewer enemy. I have a feeling, however, that there will be repercussions from this incident that last for quite some time. In my opinion, it is now abundantly clear that the Federation is at a major crossroads. It is only a matter of time, I assume, before we must re-evaluate the form we wish the Federation to henceforth take. Kronos was officially inducted into the Pan-Galactic Federation. And while the Kronos incident that engendered the Alliance was certainly noteworthy, it was not the only seminal event of Space Day 537. The year also became known for various progressive reforms, which would serve as defining points of Federation policy for years to come. Fakreed's fate regarding the Federation was officially decided today. Because the planet is not sufficiently civilized, it will not be recognized as a legitimate member of the Federation. As we influence the planet to a great extent, though, it was designated a protectorate. I plan to ask Command to appoint Victor the Inspector General of Fakri. I cannot imagine there is anyone else in the galaxy better suited to the job than him. Now that I mention one Fakri, I should probably record what happened to the rest. Everyone involved in the incident immigrated to Earth. After all they'd experienced of the outside world, we couldn't simply let them return to an underdeveloped planet. Besides, they unanimously decided to come of their own accord. 
Which is what I was hoping for. Miki's currently studying her heart out to become a science officer. According to Anne, she's got a real knack for this sort of thing. Already understanding the basics of symbology doesn't hurt either. If there's anything that holds her back, though, it's reading and writing. You can't be too hard on her, as she didn't grow up with the Terran syllabary. But she still has a long road ahead of her. Victor was able to enlist in the Federation's military. And based upon his distinguished record, he was appointed as an instructor. Considering he's a citizen of an underdeveloped planet, this is a historic accomplishment for him. Personally, I'd like to see Command put him in charge of overseeing his home planet, but the decision ultimately rests with him. Thanks in part to an endorsement from Dr. Krupp, Fiore was accepted as a researcher in the newly built Symbological Genetics Laboratory on Moonbase. I say accepted, but the whole facility was basically established for her sake. Her knowledge surpasses even our own scientists in some areas, so I assume they're more than happy to take advantage of her genius. There's no way they won't make at least a few breakthroughs with her working on their team. All is quiet on the Anne front, as she continues to work as a science officer aboard the Charles D. Gold. Her looks are what sealed the deal for me when hiring her, but I'll be damned if she isn't one capable science officer. Once I'm finally given my new assignment, I won't hesitate to bring her along. As for me, the myriad and valiant deeds I performed in quelling the Kronos Rebellion earned me a promotion. Nothing's official yet, but word around the water cooler is that I'll become an admiral. To think, me, with my own fleet. What's more, the ship they'll assign me won't be any ordinary one. It'll supposedly be equipped with some rather snazzy technology, of an experimental and gravitic warp kind. I guess this goes to show, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few rules. <laughs>